Now here it is, Thursday evening, and I'm back at it. I'm going to start getting head gaskets ready. I have the four that came out of it, and I have two NOS ones. They're never used. Uh, they came out of the shop by Allen when I cleaned out the estate where the 60 came from. So I brought them along with any other useful items I could find. And I think my plan is to use these two and two of the best of the four used ones. I've already cleaned up one of them, wire brushing it with a soft bristle wire brush. Here I was going to point out uh, it's a Victor gasket. There's a C3 on it. And this is probably the part number. I think it's 207A. But I'm sure that number isn't available anymore. So, like I said, I'm going to use the two NOS ones and the two the best two out of the four of the used ones. I've already picked out one that I've cleaned up. And if you look at them, you know, I tried, I was real careful pulling the heads off. And if you look at them, and if you look at them, you know, the copper is bulged a little bit in a few places. And uh, like here I, here I dinged a little bit. Here this hole is bent up some. My plan is to, like here where a little got torn and bent over on a straight and all out. My plan then is I want to take two plates of steel on my hydraulic press and squeeze them to get any of those imperfections straightened out and get it all nice and flattened out again. So I'm going to pick out the next, the next best used one and start to clean that up on the wire brush. And when I get around to straighten, uh, pressing those to straighten them out, I'll show you that, see how they turn out. Here. Straightening this out. That's about the only spot who's pushed out of shape. So it'll be ready to go out into press and flatten it out. Now I'm going to pick out the next best one and start to clean it on the wire wheel. What I'm really looking for closely is how that the copper here where it's folded over is in real nice shape to seal for the compression. For the water, I'll, I'll put a thin coat of silicone on both sides of the gasket to seal the water. But I want to make sure that this, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a fire ring, but the, where the copper is folded over, I want to make pick out two where that is really good so that it doesn't burn out past the head gasket. This is the one I think that's next best, so I'm going to start to clean it up. I want to straighten out any of the places where it's folded over before I press it so that it doesn't have double thickness where it isn't supposed to. Well, this is one I probably won't use unless I'd really straighten that out because that where it's folded over is completely off of here. I think I have these ready to be squeezed to try and get them in the best shape I can. So next I'll be out there on the hydraulic press probably. I'm going to see if I can fix this one. Open it up.
Looks like it was in the tractor like that the last time. Well, good morning. I'm back at it. A little more work on the gaskets here. You know, some of these places, see the water jacket goes just around here, and this doesn't get squeezed, and that's why these are bulged. And where they're bulged, I'm gonna take that gasket material out of there because it's probably just gonna come loose and get into the water jacket anyway. I might not be using this one for the final assembly, but I'm going to use it when I set the heads on for lining up the exhaust manifold and water manifold and checking the pushrod tubes and all that. That looks pretty good. Now here I'm going to clamp the gasket down. Try and get that pushed back into place. Well that seems...
Well, I actually got straightened out pretty darn good around here and here. I don't think I would ever use this gasket for the final assembly, but I'm going to be using all four to use gaskets when I just set the heads on for trial fitting the exhaust manifold and push rod tubes. And when it comes to stuff this old, you don't throw away any parts, no matter how rough a shape they're in, because you never know. Uh, now, now, I made eight of these, two for each cylinder. Uh, these are going, I'm going to put them in, in place of head studs, two of them on each cylinder to locate the heads when I set them on. And uh, I had to cut them off so I had the full size shank here because as you remember, the hole here is drilled. And if I used, and I need the full size shank so I know how much the head is going to move uh, when I work at aligning the manifold up. And if you're wondering why I did this instead of just putting some full-length studs in, these heads are mighty heavy to lift up and off of those studs. And I'm not going to put the studs in until I set the heads in for the last time. So the next step is going to be to go outside, put two of these studs in each of the cylinders, set a head gasket on, and then start carrying heads out and setting them in place. So we'll see you out there. I'm back out by the tractor. First thing I do is put two of my first is put two of my pilots in each cylinder. Then set the head gaskets on. Now I'll go get cylinder head number four. Here we go. I'll tell you these cylinder heads aren't getting any lighter. Hold them set in place temporarily. After I work on the push rod tubes so they go in and out okay like they should, that's why I put the head gaskets on so the spacing was right. And make leather seals to make sure they go in and out and assemble properly. And work on the exhaust manifold. I'll show you what I have to do with that and make sure the alignment is right. As you can see, the heads move a fair amount on those studs. And I want to have the exhaust manifold already before I lift the heads back off, put the studs in, slide the heads on, uh, angle them so they fit the manifold properly, and then I'll tighten the heads down. So now I got to continue with setting the other four heads on and start working on the push rod tubes, water, ma water manifold, and exhaust manifold. This might be it for today. Uh, I think I'm out of time for today. And Les, once again, thanks again for watching. And every day it gets closer. Doesn't that just look good? And show it to you from this angle.